Okay, so let's have situation 12. Refer to the eccentric loaded bracket shown. You have P, we have S, S1, S2 given, and the eccentricity. And naka-indicate to as bold number 8. Alright, so first question, compute the direct load in each bolt. And compute the total reaction in bolt number 8. And what is the minimum bolt diameter at the most critical bolt if the allowable shear stress is 124 megapascal? Alright. So, yung analysis dito is ano, uh, elastic analysis. Dalawa kasi yung uh, pwedeng gawing solution dito. Pero sa board exam, elastic analysis yung ginagamit. So, while this is our ano, centroid of the bolt section. Ito yung analysis sa uh, elastic. Alright, ilagay ko lang yung mga values. Now, let's analyze this bolt here. Nagkalin lang natin. Separate natin sila. Ito yung weld. Uh, ito yung ating uh, centroid of the bolt group. Now, itong force P. The force P will be transferred dito sa center. And kung transfer natin yan sa center, we need to account the moment. Magkakaroon yan ng twisting moment. No? Kung transfer natin yan, magkakaroon tayo ng twisting or torsion. That's the torsion or the torque. That is simply, yung torque is the moment at that point. So, P times 300 millimeter. Direct load that is caused by that load P. So, because of that load P, silang lahat, hahati, paghahatian nila. Yan yung tinatawag natin na direct load. So, opposite sila sa direction na yan. Tawag nyo siyang R sub D. So, for number 34, direct load is simply P over N. Or P is 240, yung N is the number of bolts. So, anim dito and anim. Whoa. So, yan lang yung ating direct load. 20 kN. Tapos, ganun sa kadali. Okay? Now, uh, number 35. Compute the total reaction in bolt number 8. So, total reaction, we need to account the torsion. Ito yung magiging concept dyan. Locate mo yan. To that bolt number 8. Alright. Because of that torsion. Of course, meron ka ng R sub D dito. R sub D pa rin yan. Because of that torsion, isipin mo lang, dapat i-account yan ni RT. Tawagin natin siyang reaction due to torsion. Moment sa dito, dapat yung direction pa ganyan para ma-account yung moment on the other side. Opposite yung moment na ma-produce ma niya. And that's perpendicular. Bala ito yung moment arm niya. Dapat ma-determine mo ano yung direction ng uh, reaction due to torsion dyan para ma-add natin. Na kung i-analyze natin yan, if I will set, uh, isolate that bolt number 8, the initial force there is RT. Itong R sub T, we will resolve that one to components. We have RTX and meron kang RTY. Okay, again yung RT ni-resolve natin to components. So, the total load here at that bolt is the resultant of all of that forces. So, that resultant in bolt number, eight, bolt number 8 will be solved by Pythagorean theorem. Square root of this squared plus this one squared. So, mag-add yan, yung dalawa. Hindi yan parating mag-add, depende yan sa bolt na pinapakuha. For example, dito natin, uh, ito yung bolt na kinonsider natin. Again, yung direction ng um, torsion reaction must be opposite to the moment here. Para ma-account yung moment na yan, dapat yung reaction dito sa torsion is pa ganyan. Para mag-counterclockwise siya. Uh, in this case kasi, pag ganito siya, yung component niya, pababa na. At pa ganyan. Okay? Halimbawa, tingnan natin yan. Meron kang RD dito. Ito yung RTX. Ito yung RTY. Ito, mag-sasubtract mag, uh, sila. Kasi opposite silang dalawa. Okay, it depends on the orientation talaga. Tingnan mo yung orientation. Paano mo i-orient yung reaction dyan? Again, because of that moment, dapat ma-counter siya ng moment reaction dyan. Okay? In this case, mag-add na yung dalawa. So, we need the T. The T is P times E for this case. Yung P natin, gawin natin siyang Newton. Yung T naman natin, that will give us 72 times 10 raised to 6 Newton millimeter. And we also need the polar moment of inertia per square millimeters or per area. Yung ginagamit natin, per area. 
what is summation of x squared plus y squared? So, itong x squared and y squared are just the coordinates, coordinates of this, of the balls from the centroid or location nila. Okay? Ibig sabihin, isa-isahin ko siya. Um, una, lahat ng bolts dito and on the other side, they are 50, 50 millimeters from the centroid. Tama? 50 millimeters. So, gawin ko na lang. 12 silang lahat times 50 squared. Yan yung ibig sabihin. Summation of x squared. Okay? Summation of x squared. 12 silang lahat tag 50, uh, 50 millimeters sila to the centroid. Now, for the y, isa-isahin talaga natin. Kasi on each line, yung y nila nagbabago. Yan yung y dito sa top. Yung y naman dito sa dito, sa second line, nagbabago. Yung y naman dito sa third line, nagbabago din. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin. Una, I will have this top part. Okay? Unahin ko yung top part. Ito. From the centroid tayo. Sa top part, you have, ilan yung total distance dito sa gitna? You have 80 plus 80 plus kalahati ng 80 which is 40. So, magiging ano siya? 160 plus 40, 200. So, 200 squared yung y natin. I mean, 200 yung y. Bakit times 4? Bakit times 4? Kasi dalawa dito. Dalawa dito. On the other side then dalawa din siya. Symmetrical sila dito. Dalawa. So, kaya times 4 tayo. Then, 200 squared. Next, isunod ko to. Itong line na yan. Alright, from the centroid, ano yung distance na yan? So, from the centroid for that line, 80 plus kalahati ng 80, which is 40, 120. Times 4 pa rin kasi dalawa dito. And on the other side, titingnan natin yung other side, dalawa din. Kaya, times 4. Okay? And the last one is for this line. Ito yan. For this line. So, yung distance siya from here to here, yung y niya is uh, 40. Times 4 pa rin kasi, kasi ito and on the other side. Ito rin. Okay? Squared. So, kuha natin yung polar moment of inertia. 254,000 square millimeter. the per square millimeter. Na? I mean, ano yan? Um, mm raised to 4 yan. Hindi yan square millimeter. Or yung magiging tot, um, resulting unit niya, square millimeters. Dali lang. I-edit ko lang para correct yung ano natin. Units. Uh, mm raised to 4. Hindi ko lang yung part na yun para correct yung ating units. Yan. Okay. So, polar moment of inertia. Mm raised to 4 per square mm per area. Baga. Or the resulting unit is square, square millimeters lang. Okay. So, paano kunin yung reaction dyan? Kukunin natin si RTX and RTY. We, we do have RD. Meron tayong RD sa first part. So, to solve for that, ito yung formula natin. RTX is TY over J. Okay? Ano ba yung, bakit TY sir? Bakit Y? Ito, ito naman is X. Kasi kung ito yung RTX natin, yung ibig sabihin ng Y dyan is yung moment arm niya about the centroid. Ito yung Y natin. Kaya kung X yan, dapat moment arm mo is Y. So, yung T natin, ito yung Y natin for this. Okay? So, 120 from here to here. Yung T natin is ito. Meron itong Y and the polar moment of inertia. 254,000. Kuha natin si RTX. And RTY naman, this one, is TX naman. Ito naman yung ating X. Bakit X? Kasi, so ito yung ating TY, RTY, its moment arm about the centroid is X. Okay? So, 50 yan. Kalahati ng 100. So, T times 50 over polar moment of inertia. Ngayon, makukuha na natin yung total reaction, both reaction. R sub 8 is square root of RTX. Ito, RTX 
squared. Ginawa ko siyang kilonewtons. So, from newtons, ginawa ko siyang kilonewtons. And, ito naman, total vertical, or total y, is RTY 14.173 kilonewton plus 20 kilonewtons na RT squared, quantity squared. So, this is the answer for number 35, 48.22. Okay? Number 36. What is the minimum bulk diameter at the most critical bulk? If the allowable shear stress is 124 kilopascal. So, kukunin natin yung um, most crit uh, load on the most critical bulk. Ano mangyayari yan dito? The farthest bulk. Not necessary farthest. Sometimes it depends on the orientation. But most of the time, basta symmetrical yan, andito talaga yung ating critical. Especially board exam, symmetrical talaga yung ginag uh, ginagawa niyang uh, alignment of both. Yeah. Most of the time, dito yan. Yung critical. Okay? So, ito, ito yung ating uh, direction of the reaction due to torsion. To counter the moment. Dapat ma-counter niya yung moment. Tawag ko siyang bolt number 7 kasi number 8 yan. Tawagin ko siyang bolt number 7 for critical. Ganun pa rin. You have RD, RTX, and RTY. And ito yung critical reaction of the bolt. Or maximum. On other hand. So, yung distance na yan is 200. Okay? So, kukunin pa rin natin si RTX and RTY. Of course, magbabago na yan kasi iba na yung Y niya. Yung Y niya dito is 200. Okay? Naging 200 na siya. Ito yung ating RTX. And RTY, yung X natin, the same pa rin. So, the same lang din yung value kanina. The same yung value kanina. Yung nagbago lang is si RTX. So, total load on bolt number 7 or the critical critical load on the bolt is square root of RTX squared. Ginawa ko siyang kilonewtons, 56.69 plus 14.173 RTY and RD 20 squared. Kuha mo na natin yung critical load, 66.192 kilonewton. Take note, we want the minimum required diameter. So, gagamitin natin yan ngayon, here. Okay? Dali lang. Gagamitin natin siya dito. Okay, edit ko lang. Kasi nag-log. Alright. So, yan. Itong nakuha natin, gagamitin ko siya dito. So, force over area tayo. The allowable shear stress FP dapat mas malaki siya sa uh, actual force over area. Of course, critical bulk yung gusto natin. So, critical uh, load yung gagamitin natin. So, FB is 124 megapascal. The load on the critical bulk is 66,192 newtons. And the area is pi over 4 times D, diameter squared. So, makukuha natin dito si diameter. Matrans, uh, makross multiply natin yan. Greater or equal to 26.07. Or, in other words, we can call that minimum required diameter. Hindi pwedeng bumaba dyan. Pwede maging equal pero hindi pwedeng bumaba dyan. So, we will use 28 on the choices. Kasi 20, hindi pwede. Mas mali siya dito. 25, hindi rin pwede. 30, although it is it is safe, but gusto natin minimum. Pinakamaliit na pwede sa choices. Um, that is for ano? Para makatipid, no? Kasi kung mas malaki yung bolt, mas mahal. So, gagamitin natin yung minimum na required diameter na pwede sa ating uh, bolt. Okay? Okay? 